Ab stuff doing anything for me? Whoo! Internet just saw my nipples. I know you guys are gonna celebrate. You're gonna ask me about the trend. The trend's not part of the stack right now though. It's been involved many times before. But all you guys know is trend. You guys should be further educated. You know about some of the other good shit. Anavar, I know you know about that. That's a good one. Primo Bowen's pretty good. Eka Poise, Testosterone, Deca. A lot of excellent options out there. This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Here I am banging out some squats. I did some squats on the Pit Shark. I did some 45 degree back raises and some pull down abs. And uh, I'll explain some of this uh, more at the end. It'll all start to make more sense. But I did it at the beginning and I did it at the end. I'll explain a little bit more later. Here goes my boy, Smokey. He was uh, working hard on this day. He was prepping for a meet. And uh, you see our boy in SEMA, look at that. that. That is a very hateful face. You can tell that he's uh, wishing bodily harm on little Smokey. Poor little Smokey, the guy only weighs like a buck 50. And SEMA's like 280 pounds and jacked. And you can see he just totally does not care about Smokey's deadlift. In fact, he's wishing Smokey deadlifted less so he could look even better. Here comes the Natty Professor, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this guy's a mutant, this guy's a freak. Here he is with uh, that hook grip style. Everybody thinks he's a badass because he hook grips. It really doesn't matter how you grip the bar. Um, it is pretty badass because that shit does hurt. Uh, but hey, you know, grab the bar whatever way you can and lift as much weight as you can. Natty Professor knows how to lift. The guy's deadlifted 755 pounds in competition in the deadlift. He's putting together some other big weights as well on the other three lifts. We continue to work on him as we work with everybody here at Super Training Gym. This is Pig's girlfriend. We uh, are working on here. She's got the bar too low. So interesting point about the bar being too low. If the bar is too low, then it pitches you forward. That's what I'm explaining to her right here. When the barbell is too high, it pitches you forward. Super Training rule number 103 on page 43 of your super training gym manifesto ladies and gentlemen is don't be dumb don't train through pain now my boy Smokey uh, is not being dumb we've all done this before you don't know what to do when you're in these situations and so when you look back at a situation like this where you end up with an injury it's easy to kind of say oh yeah you know I shouldn't have done that probably um, very you know hindsight is is something that is very easy to look at look back upon and, and to say uh, fuck, you know what? I should have done something else. But guys, listen to me very carefully. Pain level of three is not something to fight through. Smokey told me his bicep and his forearm is hurting. You can see he's got the compression cuff on it right there. He, the pain that he was experiencing during this workout was between an eight and a nine between his sets. He, the guy was just trying to fight through it so he can make it to the meet and have a good meet. But you can see right there, if you want to even back it up, you could see right there that he, he tore his bicep and he knew it right away. And you could see it kind of rolling up even further as he uh, got off of there. Here I am doing some of my uh, conditioning work. Good Lord, how come nobody tell? Why is my ass so sweaty? God, it looks like I just sat down in a puddle of water. I mean, my back is one thing, but my ass? I need like a tampon or something or... A bro pond, a man pond. I need to stick something in there. Maybe roll up a newspaper and shove it in there. I need something to calm everything down. Maybe that stuff from when you were a kid, when you were in school, that they put down for puke. You know, it kind of looked like sawdust. It was like that pinkish stuff. It was fucking disgusting. They threw it in with the throw up and it somehow made it all dry up. Maybe if I threw that in my pants, it would stop all the zoo ass that I got going on down there. Very, very swampy conditions. It's not even human out here in California, so I don't really have an excuse. Here I am going through my circuits. For this day, I did 10 sets of 10 on the squat with about 195 pounds. I know that's chump change, but it was 10 sets, 10 reps, and uh, it was a starting point. You know, Matt Wenning is uh, helping me out with some of the programming. I'm taking advice from my boy Stan the Rhino Efforting as well, and that's what the salt is for. Tom Files is very confused. Tom's just wondering why I don't dump Diana Ball into my, uh, into my beverage, which... 
would be effective as well, but uh, this is a form of hydration. Efforting kind of harped on the fact that you need salt and that uh, you need calcium and need other vitamins and minerals uh, in, your, in your effort to be hydrated. Look at Bobby in the background. I know you guys are already looking at her, but look at her staring a hole right through my shorts. And you guys are staring a hole right through her pants, I can tell. You guys are disgusting. You're all going to hell. So, I mentioned in the beginning that I was going to mention this at the end, and we're getting towards the end, and so here we go. So, in the beginning, I did sets of 25 reps, uh, four sets of 25 reps, pull-down abs with bands. I did 45-degree back raise, and I did the belt squat. At the end of the workout, I pushed everything much heavier. That's why I'm not using bands here, and that's why I'm doing a pull-down ab movement, weighted. And you can see, not only am I pushing down, but I'm also getting my air. I'm teaching myself how to brace myself on each and every rep. So the beginning of the workout starts out light. The end of the workout is when you're going to push uh, harder and go heavy. But why not use some of the same exercises? They're super effective. It's an easy way to get yourself warm for the day. And it's an easy way to uh, get some great assistance work in when you're done with your main sets. Here I am just working on some grip work. Grab some tens, pinch grip them. All the stuff I'm doing right now is uh, immediately scalable. You can scale it for anybody. Almost anybody can do some of the workouts that I've been doing recently. It's not hard to change weights. Uh, doing farmer's carries and pinch grips and all these different things, uh, very easy. You can see me reading the warrior quote for a minute there until I completely failed and my hands fell apart right there. Anyway, guys, keep at it. Keep training your faces off. I just trained uh, to almost nauseam. Strength is never a weakness. Catch y'all later. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength.